Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial, episode 20. Today we're going to look at WP Touch Pro and do a basic setup of it on our site. Before we do that, I'd like to encourage you to go back uh, a couple posts and look at the custom post types, theme or plugin territory post. Uh, we're just discussing, uh, discussing uh, where you put your custom post types in a theme or in a plugin. And you can see we got a bunch of discussion here from a bunch of different people. And we'd love to have you weigh in. So WP Touch Pro is by a company called Brave New Code. This is a pro version uh, of a plugin, so that means it's paid. They do also have a free version on the WordPress.org repository that has many similar features. We're not going to look at the free version today. We're simply going to look at setting up the pro version. So I've already downloaded it from the Brave New Code dashboard. And you can see I am on my screencast WordPress setup dashboard. I'm going to go to Plugins, Add New, and then I'm going to go to Upload. And I'm going to find the file which is in my Downloads folder, WB Touch Pro 2.8.zip. And we'll open that and install. You can activate it. You can see we have a new menu item on our site. WP Touch Pro. If we go to the main part of our site, nothing has actually changed though. So let's go to WP Touch Pro. And the first thing we want to do is put it in developer mode so that we can actually test it. So I'm going to put it in enabled for admins only. This would allow you to test it only if you're logged in as an admin on your site and save changes and you can see we have a nice notification up in the top corner that says the developer mode is on and when I refresh we have an idea of what our site will look like so a good thing to do to get a better idea of what it's going to perform like is to shrink your browser window way down like that and now we have a better idea of what it's going to look like so we set it up for testing now and the next thing, the only th next thing I want to do really is I want to add a different menu. So you can see we have the basic menu here in WordPress. You can go to Menus and Icons. And under General Settings, WP Touch Pro is set to use WordPress pages. You can change it to use any menu. So that mobile menu is actually set under Appearance and Menus. I put in two pages there so that we could do our testing today. And if I refresh the page, See, we now have two menus, or only two items. Now, many of you, I'm sure, have heard of responsive design. And responsive design is where you take the site and it changes based on your browser width. So you do CSS media queries, and based on a certain screen size, you change the layout, you change where your buttons are, you change your font sizes maybe, or whatever it takes to make it a mobile site. There's some issues with that, which is why I prefer WP Touch Pro. First off, it's really hard to deliver images uh, of the proper size to mobile devices. You either have to deliver big images to mobile devices and then the small ones that it actually needs, or you need to deliver large image or smaller images to desktops and then switch it over to the large size images. You also have to or send out all your CSS for the media queries. With WP Touch Pro, you can actually only send the things that you want. Optimized graphics for Retina for Retina devices, and then even for non-Retina iPhones, you can send the old graphics that don't need to be retinized. Next time I'm going to go into building a specific theme and what we're actually going to do is build the theme for WP Theme Tutorial uh, pretty much live because I don't have it on there yet and it's about time that I get a proper mobile site up. Thanks for watching.